Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Tabitha, if you don't already know, and today I am just going to give you a very raw, uncut video. I am filming this on my iPhone. I'll edit it on my iPhone. Um, I just wanted to talk because I... Besides my husband, Dakota, I, it just, I don't have anybody really to talk to, and so I just needed to, to talk, and that's what this video is going to be about. <sighs> um, so, I don't even know where to begin, I mean... 2017 thus far has been just a continuation of 2016. I mean it hasn't like obviously we're only 10 days in it could get it will get better I know this but it just I I feel stuck and I have felt stuck and in a rut and unmotivated, uncreative for months now and I just like I want so I need to preface, preface this by saying that I love the university that I work for it is where I graduated from it is uh, where I have really learned the tools of the video production trade as well as many other things. Um, it has given me a lot of opportunities that people generally don't have. Um, and I'm very grateful for those opportunities. <sighs> However, it does not make being there easier. It does not make being there worth it anymore. I started working in the video production department at that university back in 2013, I believe, or early 2014. And I started there as a work study. Um, but quickly, I realized if I wanted to learn more, I was going to have to spend more time there than I was going to be paid for. Which I, I mean, I was fine with. Um, it was a work study job. I could only get 10 hours a week anyways. But I wanted to be able, I wanted to know more about video production. And you can't learn that in 10 hours a week. You just can't. So I was there a lot of, a lot of my time was spent in the office. And then, um, after a few years, actually, towards the end of the spring semester last year in 2016, that work study job became a part-time as needed job, which, um, for me, I get 20 hours a week of pay, um, 40 hours per paycheck, but this job has quickly turned into more of an expe expectation of being full-time, and it's not that my boss, Dave, expects me to be full-time, or our boss, Amy, or really anyone else in the universe, or not universe, the university expects me to be there 40 hours a week, but the work that I have been given expects 40 hours a week or more, and they don't understand that, they don't understand, like, what video production is, and, I mean, it would be fine if I was still living with my parents, if I wasn't married, if I didn't have 
student debt, um, or bills to pay, or other obligations. Like, if I just didn't have anything to really pay, then this job would be great as a part-time as a needed job. And I'm going to stop you right there before you type in, like, well, why don't you find a different job? Trust me. I have looked. I have prayed. I, I... There isn't, at this point in time, another job. Um, I've gone on interviews. It just, it's just... There are too many other variables that keep me from the jobs I've been presented. Um, namely, Dakota and I only have one vehicle. And it, it, it's too... I'd have to stay in town. And in this town, video production is at the university. That's just where it's at. Um, but anyways. I, I just can't. Dakota and I can't feasibly live how we need to with what we're being paid. And this month is very difficult because we, he was off all of December because he works in the cafeteria at the university and if there's no students, it's not open, it makes sense, it, we're totally fine with that. Um, but I didn't have, I didn't work for two weeks and it's just more difficult, like this month is very much going to be a catch up month. And it's already proving to be extremely difficult to catch up on anything. I'm just like, I'm feeling very stuck. I'm feeling very unmotivated. I know I've said that already, but I just want to not be at the university anymore. I... Like, I've spent so much time, so much of my time there. I've given so much free time, man hours. I have given so much of myself to the university in the video production department that it feels, it feels like it is just worthless. And I know. Fundamentally, fundamentally speaking, spiritually speaking, how, however you want to, it is not worthless. I, I am doing something. Um, I am not doing it for a reward. Um, I'm not. I just, I get it. I really, I like, I get that it's not worthless. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't feel worthless. It doesn't mean that it doesn't feel like day in and day out I spend at least 40 hours a week in the office. And for what? Like I have nothing to work on. And the projects I do eventually get are big projects that they don't understand how much time goes into it. I am being forced to work with people who were a year ago fellow students. I was a student with them and they refused to see me as anything other than a fellow student even though I have been working in video production this like especially the university's video production for the last two and a half three years so who knows the university better than I do? My boss who taught me but other than that, like, I know what the university is looking for. I know what they expect. And I know how to do my, like, I know how to do video. And I just, like, what makes putting so much of my time, putting so much of me into the video production department and not getting th anything out of it is because it is, um, it makes it difficult because 
I have a family to take care of. I have uh, a husband to help pay the bills, like, that I need to help pay the bills. I have six animals to take care of, and I know that's a lot, and I have taken them all in, knowing how much it was to take care of them, everything, like, I, I know, but I want to be able to give them more than I am. I want them to fully thrive. I, I mean, all their needs are met. Now, I just want to be able to take care of things that aren't necessarily needs, but would help their lives be better. So, don't give me a spiel on animals. Um, but I, I want to be able to start kicking out my student loan debt. Like, I don't have a lot. Comparatively, my student loans to um, the majority of anyone else who has gone to, gone through college, I got some low debt to pay back. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, but it doesn't mean that I don't have this debt to pay and I need a way to pay it. Or just like I am feeling overwhelmed and I am feeling like I'm feeling very very unsure about what's going on and here's why because like I have an opportunity to I, I think I mean, it's taken so long that now I'm questioning whether or not I actually have the opportunity. But the opportunity would be to start um, a video production company with two of my best friends. Um, one being Dave, and the other one is Mariah, who I don't think I've shown. I haven't shown either of them. Anyways, um... Like, I have this opportunity. It's just taking way longer than expected. And it's really making me question whether or not, like, God gave us that opportunity. Or if it was just ourselves, like, expecting that to be what we should do. Or what we wanted to do. And I don't... I don't know what to do right now. And I'm feeling very uneasy about this situation. I'm feeling very like unsure and so 13 minute video just to say that I don't know what is going on in life. I don't know how Dakota and I are going to pay our bills this month. I don't know how we're going to get through this time but I do know that God is good and that he works everything to the good of those who he has called by his name so those who have who have been made right with him and you know that's the only hope I can hold on to. That's the only thing that makes sense is that he he is good and it's going to work out. And I know it, it is going to. It's just working in that like that mid ground where you don't see it like that's what makes it difficult. That's what tests you like. That's what I'm unsure about. So, um, I guess I'm just going to see you guys tomorrow.